Um, I'm here speaking with Andrew Fern, the drama teacher from Lancisol Manifesto, and we're going to find out about himself and about the course. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Chris. Nice to be here. Nice to see you. Yeah, the first thing then is, is about uh, yourself and, and your background. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, what's your background in the industry? Uh, ooh, um, 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 I first went on stage as an actor when I was 13 in a local theatre, the same theatre that Sir Ian McKellen started in, believe it or not. And I fell in love with it, and that was it. And I've worked um, mainly as an actor in Britain, but also I've directed, I've had plays of my own produced in Britain, and I fell into lecturing in between acting jobs in Britain. Um, I was employed by my university, in fact, where I, I trained and studied later. And uh, they called me back to go and lecture there, and it was something I fell into. And uh, actually, I can anticipate one of your questions, uh, if I may be so bold. How did I end up here? Before we go on to that, you said that you fell in love with the theatre. Why? What happened there? Well, um, in the theatre I found people of all ages, but largely similar to myself in as much as they were not as judgmental as people outside the theatre. And I loved the fact it was doing something that I loved. I, I have a love affair with the English language. I love words. And this all, it was everything together. Um. And the next day you, you came to Finland, how did that happen? Well, as I say, I fell into um, lecturing jobs, um, different places in uh, University of Chester, Leeds Metropolitan University, different, I'd finish an acting job and then I was never out of work basically. And uh, I was working in the drama department at uh, University of Chester and the telephone rang and a colleague of mine said, Andrew, it's for you. It wasn't. It was just somebody ringing the man in fact who was the principal of this college at the time, Risto Nominen who was calling on spec to ask, have you got somebody who could come out here and teach theatre in English for five months? They, they said very nice things about what I'd done and said, why don't you stay for another year and run the whole course? And I said, yeah, okay. And then as that year was ending, they said, will you do another year? And I said, yeah, okay. And then they stopped asking me. And I'm still here. I guess, I guess there have been some developments uh, the course has changed from, from when you first began to how it is now. Yeah, yeah, but some of that is down to um, having a few contacts here and having, I learn from the students, of course, as well. And every course is unique. Um, it's organic, it's student-centered, so it depends. The students are part of the material that I work with and I learn things from them. Their experiences on leaving this course as well, helped me to tailor things to other needs for the future, where students have, have found something particularly useful or whatever it is. Um, and also the options are great now in terms of being able to help people through the course and after the course, because I already have contacts, people who were my students who are now in the industry, they're actors, directors, writers, teachers, whatever. Um, and not just in Finland, some of them are now in Britain, um, people have gone to work in the States or study in Canada or whatever it is. So you can, you can look back at what students have achieved in the past, but, but are there fundamental principles underlying the course? Absolutely, yes. So what are they? What are the, the fundamental, fundamental principles? Yes. Um, on a, a theoretical level, I'm talking about theory of, of drama, um, theatre, I cover significant aspects or moments of theatre history, um, significant writers, theoreticians, what have you, with a basic overview that includes drama, not just as theatre, but includes some film drama, television drama, radio drama, whatever. Um, but generally, I, I run it in my, in my head as a springboard for those students who want to go on and do something else. And as all students are different, so that 
works slightly differently each time. Generally, people come with an idea that they are interested in acting, but that's not always the case. And some people have come here with that idea and then realized other things. The things on the course have opened other doors or, or windows for them, and they've seen other things. You said that the course is not 